It's not often you get to see a final before the final, especially at the World Cup, but that's exactly what is on the cards when 1998 winners France take on Dark Horses Belgium in the first semi-final of the 2018 FIFA World Cup at the St. Petersburg Stadium. France haven't really huffed and puffed, but they haven't exactly played scintillating football in Russia en route to the last eight. Truth be told, their group stage matches were a bit tedious to watch but since then, Les Blues have transformed into a side that is beginning to deliver on its enormous potential. Belgium, on the other hand, have been impressive from match day one, barring a minor blip against Japan, and have an entire nation believing that their golden generation is ready to make that jump from elite to legendary. With the way the favorites have crumbled at the World Cup, it's nigh impossible to call this tie-in while France do hold a slight edge, come kickoff and it all comes down to whom the footballing gods are favoring on the day. France France's defense held firm against Uruguay, but that was a side bereft of Edinson Cavani so their true test will come against the Belgian Red Devils that have scored 14 goals in 5 matches so far. Samuel Umdity, even when fit doesn't inspire confidence at the back and while Les Blues fullbacks are a bit green, if there is to be an area of concern for Didier Deschamps, it would most definitely be his centre-back who plies his trade for Catalan Giants Barcelona. With his leg heavily wrapped in the quarters, one wonders if he will be operating at anywhere near 100% and if not, then how Romelu Lukaku and co. will manage to target him. In fact, had it not been for the flying Hugo Lloris and goal, the story could well have been different for France and their custodian has truly been leading from the back much to the delight of his countrymen. Skipper Hugo Lloris has been nothing short of inspirational. Photo, AFP, the spotlight will once again be on N'Golo Conti for the semi-final, for the indefatigable midfielder will have to run harder than ever before if he is to keep club teammate Eden Azar quiet on the night. Don't miss, 2018 FIFA World Cup, five of the biggest upsets so far in Paul Pogba, Antoine Griezmann, Kylian Mbappe have some of the finest defensive talents on paper, but they're vaunted. Stars have not yet clicked as a cohesive unit and they will need to combine if they are to beat a Belgium side still buzzing after their historic triumph over Brazil. Veron will be pushed to the limit come Tuesday. Photo, AFP, having gone all the way as the captain of that 1998 side, Deschamps knows a thing or two about winning the World Cup and the motivation to become only the third man to lift the title as player and manager both will only spur him on. Talking corner, we're not scared of anyone. We've been confident from the start and we're not asking any questions of ourselves. France fullback Benjamin Pavard probable starting 11, 4, 2, 3, 1, Lloris, C, Hernandez, Baran, Umtiti, Pavard, Conte, Pogba, Tolisso, Griezmann, Mbappe and Giroud. Injury concerns, Benjamin Mendy, Thigh, Knee, Suspension Alert, Non-Belgium Roberto Martinez's bold move to play Maru Anthelani alongside Alex Witzel, which in turn freed Kevin De Bruyne to work his magic up top against Brazil turned out to be a masterstroke. With Romelu Lukaku taking up the right flank and Eden Azar on the right, KDB was unleashed and the rest, as they say, is history. Must read, 2018 FIFA World Cup, the Dream 11 from quarterfinals will Martinez stick with the same system against France. Les Blues may not have Neymar and Philippe Cochinho, but there is no dearth of offensive firepower for Deschamps and Martinez knows it. There is a major concern for Belgium's Spanish tactician, however, as in form wing back Thomas Meunier is suspended and in his place, either Yannick Carrasco or Nasser Chadli will start. If Courtois keeps this up, Real Madrid will definitely come calling. Photo, AFP, again, it all depends on what kind of formation Martinez opts for and right now, it's anybody's guess. Should Fellaini return to the bench, it's likely that Dries Mertens will link up with Hazard and Lukaku, pushing De Bruyne back into his deep-lying midfield role. Thibaut Courtois, like his opposite number Hugo Lloris, has been having a standout tournament and the Chelsea custodian is expected to be busy all evening long, despite having a formidable back three of Vincent Kompany, Toby Alder, Veraldin Jan Vertonghen in front of him. 
So far so good for Jan Vertong and Co. Photo, AFP, despite Witzel's impressive displays as a midfield enforcer, however, Belgium haven't been exactly stingy at the back and they will require shoring up if they are to clear the penultimate hurdle that is France. Talking corner, it's a trip into the unknown. We have never been in such a situation, and that's why we need our team spirit more than ever against France. We need to be the best version of ourselves. Belgium manager Roberto Martinez. Probable starting 11, 3-4-3, Courtois, Vertonghen, Company, Alder, Verald, Meunier, De Bruyne, Witzel, Carrasco, Mertens, Lukaku and Hazard, C. Injury concerns, none suspension alert, Thomas Meunier, yellow card accumulation, superstat this. Is France's sixth World Cup semi-final, two wins, three losses, while Belgium are in the last four for the second time, having lost to Argentina on their maiden visit in 1986.